this evening. GTU announces a big win for head teachers. People's National Congress General Secretary dispels rumors about the parking meters contract. Region 8 is on its way to becoming an agricultural gold mine. Can Facebook save the lives of you or a loved one? In the region, nations across the Caribbean observe Ash Wednesday. And internationally, President Donald Trump gives his first address to the nation since his inauguration. From Safe TV headquarters in South Rival Gardens, this is Safe TV Headline News with George Gonzalez. Headline News is now being streamed live on our YouTube channel as well as our website, safetvghana.com. Join us. Duty-free concessions has now been extended to teachers nationwide. Andrew Weeks reports that General Secretary of the Guyana Teachers Union, Coretta McDonald, broke the news on Wednesday at her office. To say that we are quite pleased that the issue of the duty free has now um, been laid to rest in the sense that the approval has been given by Minister Harmon. Um, it has been a while, but we are happy that the approval has now been given. So GRE, they are now working with the instructions that was given to them. So the teachers are now going to be able to access their, their duty free concession. Coretta MacDonald, General Secretary of the GTU. McDonald also stated that she is happy that not only teachers will get their duty-free concessions, but that the 46 teachers that were on the waiting list since 2009 has also gotten their duty-free concession. When asked if a new list would be submitted for duty-free concessions for teachers, Ms. McDonald said, There are persons, as a matter of fact, the agreement says um, it lasts for five years. And so every year you would find the head teachers who are eligible for um, their duty free concession. Because in the agreement it talks about um, you being a head teacher for three years and you must have five years remaining. The list that we are supposed to be submitting for this year and the last year, they are on hold because we have not yet signed on to the agreement. So it means that as soon as that agreement is signed, we are going to have a list of um, 200 persons waiting to access their duty-free concessions because we are asking for 100. That is what has been the practice over the years. It was Minister of State and Cabinet Secretary Joseph Harmon early in February stated that approval went to the Ghana Revenue Authority where favorable consideration was given to teachers affected due to the administration issues in the past. For years, Eligible teachers have been waiting to access duty-free concessions for vehicles, but due to many hurdles, were unable to receive same. McDonald is hopeful that the hiccups of the past would not happen again. I know that um, there, there's the law stipulates, but the thing is, G and this is what GT has been fighting for over the years, these teachers were eligible during that period. And, and our concern is that our head teachers should not be punished for admin deficiencies. Where admin was at fault, we will have to deal with that at another level. But the head teachers should not be punished because of admin issues. And so I think that is what was causing the, the entire process to be stalled, not only for the 46 teachers, but all the other teachers who were on that list. Um, because what we kept doing is putting those 46 on the list with the new with the new people and that is what was stalling the entire process and so other teachers were their process was stalled um, like i said before we're quite happy that that is now over with and i am wishing our teachers the very best drive carefully and be good role models andrew weeks channel 2 headline news thanks andrew Today, a Canadian teen who was recently charged with cocaine possession was granted $200,000 bail. Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan granted bail to the would-be teenage trafficker who was found unfit to face trial. Anastasia LaRose was handed over to the custody of her grandmother, a psychiatric nurse, after LaRose had undergone a psychiatric evaluation while remanded. The chief magistrate was satisfied that there were special circumstances which proved LaRose was unfit for trial. The court, 
As part of the conditions for bail, will hold on to her passport. LaRose, a mother of one, was busted last January at Chetty Jagan International Airport with over nine pounds of cocaine in her suitcase. This was the teen's first trip to Guyana, according to her attorney, Glenn Hanneman. Hanneman had told the court in January his client suffers from a mental illness, which affects her psychologically, allowing her to be easily influenced by others. Police prosecutor De Niro Jones in January strongly objected to bail being granted to LaRose since her lawyer failed to raise any special reason for his client to be granted pre-trial liberty. LaRose will return to court on March 29th to report on her condition. General Secretary of the People's National Congress, Oscar Clark, slams opposition leader Barrett Jagdio's statements. Jagdio said that the parking meters project is being used to finance the PNCR for 20 years and beyond. Andrew Weeks reports. There is no such idea even in the minds of any PNC person, including myself. Clearly, this is a figment of Mr. Jack Dio's fertile imagination. And it, su it suggests to me that this must have been the route which the, Mr. Jack Dio and the PVP would have taken in relation to foreign investments coming to Guyana. General Secretary of the PNCR, Oscar Clark, on Wednesday, rebuking opposition leader by Jack Dio's statements. For those of you who may have missed the opposition leader's statement on the 27th of February at Freedom House, we play it one more time. Listen. This contract was designed to finance the PNC for the next 20 odd years in the future. It was a significant part of the proceeds would go to Congress case. And, and so they don't care about the public outcry. I told Mr. Clark, opposition leader by Jack Deere would not make such a statement unless he is absolutely sure he has some form of evidence. Mr. Clark responded. And you have to ask him that, but the point I'm making is that I could only conjecture that this must be the way in which the PVP operated during the 23 years in office. Mr. Clark, who is also a councillor and chairman of the Finance Committee at City Hall, argued that the parking meter project is a foreign investment for the city of Georgetown and that City Hall welcomes it. For the reason that it will improve the general logistics within the city, uh, not only in ensuring that there is order and discipline, but also that the city will be provided with resources to ensure that vital works can be completed for the improvement of the general aesthetics of the city. There has been a number of protests about the parking meter contract and related bylaws on several grounds, including lack of transparency, no public tendering, burdensome fees, and the wide powers of the smart city solution in acquiring lands for garage parking and sale of seized vehicles without legal recourse. Smart city solution has an 80% stake in the US $10 million metered parking system and the mayor and city council the remaining 20%. Andrew Weeks, Channel 2. Headline News. Thanks, Andrew. Coming up on Headline News after the break, we find out how Facebook is preparing to stop suicide. And Region 8 is an agricultural gold mine, according to one official. Sometimes there's just too much information to keep up with when you're pregnant. What you should and should not eat, what kind of exercise is right for you, how to handle mood changes, even how to determine when it's time for delivery. Don't let your pregnancy be a burden. Watch The Baby Story on Safe TV Channel 2 every weekday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now you can know all you need to know from conception to delivery. 
when you watch The Baby Story on Safe TV Channel 2. It's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Serve hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties and formal gathering. For reservation call 225-1730-225-0038 and delivery 225-0195 or 225-0159. The new thriving Chinese restaurant, 32 Main Street, Georgetown. Need a ride around town and beyond? Look no further than Oasis Ride Taxi Service. With affordable prices and some of the best drivers in the business, we've been delivering prompt and reliable service to Guyana for over 16 years. We also offer tours, chauffeur service, and even car rentals. You can call us at 231-5554 or 225-5594. 5496. For deals, specials, and more information, find our page on Facebook. Always is ride taxi service. Let's go. It's next level time, Diana. Let's get ready for Love and Sunshine Destination Wedding Conference and Expo coming on April 1st and 2nd, 2017 to Guyana, South America. Come enjoy the company of Joy Agnes, Destination Wedding Specialist, Mark Jennings, TV host and lifestyle expert, Jacqueline Johnson, Destination Wedding Expert, Jerry Gavaya, CEO of Roraima Group, Angie Zimmerman, Floral Expert, and Richard Markel, founder of AFWPI. Registration U.S. $100 before March 15th, thereafter U.S. $150. Learn from the industry experts, see floral demonstrations, network at the cocktail, and benefit from educational sessions on wedding planning. Contact us for sponsorship at info at joyagnesevents.com. Love and Sunshine Destination Wedding Conference and Expo, a must for all wedding professionals. See you there. Seems like people will try just about anything to lose weight these days. But nothing works better than proper dieting and exercise. So if you're guilty of eating the wrong foods, not finding time to exercise or can't afford a gym, join Safe TV Channel 2 for Body and Spirit. Body and spirit. Aerobics workout with Dick Nunez. Hello, I'm Dick Nunez. Welcome to Body and Spirit Aerobics. Weekday mornings from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Don't hesitate. Act now because your greatest wealth is your health. Your this place is really hot. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's the dinner? I had a hard day. I'm sorry you have a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. Facebook has developed algorithms to identify users that may be at risk of suicide. Valen Holland has more. The social media giant is currently testing technology that allows it to spot warning signs in users' posts and the comments their friends leave in response. Also, U.S.-based users can now contact a variety of suicide counselors via Facebook Messenger. For years, Facebook had offered advice to users taught to be at risk of suicide. But this was only after another Facebook user clicks on a post report button. A series of posts discussing personal sadness and pain would be one sign to cause alert. Also responses from friends with phases such as, are you okay? Or I'm worried about you would be another. Once a post has been identified, it is sent for rapid review to the network's community operations team. 
Users judged to be at risk will see a message from Facebook advising them how to seek help. The director of the U.S. National Suicide Prevention Lifeline praised the effort but said he hoped Facebook would eventually do more than give advice by also contacting those that could help. The tool is being tested only in the U.S. at present. In the absence of technology in Guyana, psychologist and addiction specialist Kathleen Vera encourages those who are contemplating self-harm to utilize the helpline. Basically, so you call in and they will, it's 24 hours, it's told, for, it's told free, and you can be as anonymous as you'd like. So they would call in and they would be spoken to by the trained professional at the time. And then depending on the situation, they, we would make sure they get to hospitals, wherever their area is, um, rehab centers, uh, help and shelter for abused women. And we have places that we have connections with that we send them towards. While Facebook is not available to automatically alert Guyanese users, it is possible for users to contact the helpline. This is a fact that is generally unknown to the public due to a lack of media attention to the means of help available to citizens. A fact that is upsetting to Vera. The biggest problem with the helpline now is that it's not, it's not being advertised in the media. And, um, and well, that's why we're here too, because there, there's no... The point we're trying to make is that there's no, pro there's, no, there's no need to publicize the problem anymore. Everybody knows the problem. It's a solution that needs addressing. So it would be nice to see the helpline numbers on the front page rather than someone's face. And, you know, that would be a nice start is the point. We all know the problem now, but nobody really knows the solution. Are you or a loved one contemplating self-harm or suicide? Please contact the numbers on the screen or you can contact them by email Twitter, Facebook, and WhatsApp. This is Valen Holland reporting for Safe TV 2 Headline News. Thanks, Valen. Given the nation's unenviable status as having the world's highest suicide rate, should such a service be brought to this country? Tell us what you think. Find us on YouTube and join the conversation. Next month, President David Granger will deliver the keynote address at the second annual International Education Awards Ceremony at Medgar Evers College in Brooklyn. Tara Tomlinson, the Jamaican-born Director of Development and Alumni Relations at Medgar Evers College, said that Granger has been invited to address the function on April 27th. Last year, Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley delivered the keynote address for the program. Medgar Evers College, located in the heart of the Caribbean community in Brooklyn, boasts a student population of mostly first and second generation Caribbean immigrants. The college is named after the slain American civil rights leader, Medgar Evers. Region 8, Pataro Ciparuni's agricultural production is making headlines as Regional Executive Officer Rafael Downs will tell us. He tells us that the region has reaped an agricultural gold mine. Could it be that President Granger's vision to see Guyana as the hub of food security in the Caribbean already taking shape? Andrew Weeks reports. Yeah, who at first broke the story on Tuesday said that government in 2016 had budgeted $33.4 million to have Potaro Superuni Region 8 change its product line of mining to producing agricultural products. Recently, Regional Executive Officer Rafael Downs says the government's initiative have been a success. Well, 2016 saw Monkey Mountain ripping over 200 bags of paddy and um, all organic I might add. As you can see, the beauty of these rich vegetables of cabbage, lettuce, onions, celery, and ground provision, etc., are all organically grown. Rafael Downs said this was done by Shade House Farming, which is also a success. We have done the normal large-scale farming that allowed us to plant the usual um, tomatoes, plantains, bananas, and so forth. And uh, that has been really successful because a lot of villages need that type of kayak farming. Um, 
basic improve the cars, cassava production and so forth. You will remember at the opening of the CARICOM International Meeting of Heads of Government conference here over a week ago, it was President David Granger, Chair of CARICOM, during his opening address, told the heads that Ghana, Belize and Suriname can lead the way in food security. Belize, Guyana and Suriname, the community's three mainland states, are together bigger than Germany, bigger than Japan. We have the land. We need to commit ourselves to the task of feeding ourselves. Food security can be advanced by the fuller utilization of our lands for large-scale investment in agriculture and agro-processing, and by dismantling barriers to regional trade in agricultural products. Could it be that Potaro Superuni Region 8 is setting the pace for the Caribbean to follow in this booming agricultural breakthrough? Rafael Downs has big plans, though, to take the agricultural industry in the region even much further in 2017. What we're doing this year is to enlarge those areas of development from last year. Um, we also, in conjunction with the sun-dried tomatoes at PK and so forth, we plan to set up some dehydrators. We haven't received any monies in the budget for this year, but um, we have been able to partner with a few of the villagers where the wood is relatively inexpensive and to construct these wooden dehydrators aren't as complex and as expensive. So what we plan to do is to slowly get into a kind of agro-processing unit to supplement our raw efforts into the farming and cultivation of these crops. The REO Rafael Downs also went on to say that he is hopeful that with the 2017 government budget, his transportation woes will come to an end and more good news will come out from Pataro Superuni Region 8 that is bordering the region of Cayuni Mazaruni to the north, the regions of Upper Demerara Burbis and Esequiba Burbis Quarantine to the east in the coming months. Andrew Weeks, Channel 2, Headline News. Thanks, Andrew. Still ahead are regional and international news. Sometimes there's just too much information to keep up with when you're pregnant. What you should and should not eat, what kind of exercise is right for you, how to handle mood changes, even how to determine when it's time for delivery. Don't let your pregnancy be a burden. Watch The Baby Story on Safe TV Channel 2 every weekday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now you can know all you need to know from conception to delivery when you watch The Baby Story on Safe TV. Channel 2. Need a ride around town and beyond? Look no further than Oasis Ride Taxi Service. With affordable prices and some of the best drivers in the business, we've been delivering prompt and reliable service to Guyana for over 16 years. We also offer tours, chauffeur service, and even car rentals. You can call us at 231-5554 or 225-5554. 5496. For deals, specials, and more information, find our page on Facebook. Always is Ride Taxi Service. Let's go. It's next level time, Diana. Let's get ready for Love and Sunshine Destination Wedding Conference and Expo coming on April 1st and 2nd, 2017 to Guyana, South America. Come enjoy the company of Joy Agnes, Destination Wedding Specialist, Mark Jennings, TV host and lifestyle expert, Jacqueline Johnson, Destination Wedding Expert, Jerry Gavaya, CEO of Roraima Group, Angie Zimmerman, Floral Expert, and Richard Markel, founder of AFWPI. Registration U.S. $100 before March 15th, thereafter U.S. $150. Learn from the industry experts, see floral demonstrations, network at the cocktail, and benefit from educational sessions on wedding planning. Contact us for sponsorship at info at joyagnesevents.com. Love and Sunshine Destination Wedding Conference and Expo, a must for all wedding professionals. See you there. Seems like people will try just about anything to lose weight these days. But nothing works better than proper diet and exercise. So if you're guilty of eating the wrong foods, not finding time to exercise or can't afford a gym, join Safe TV Channel 2 for Body and Spirit. Body and Spirit. Aerobics Workout with Dick Nunez. Hello, I'm Dick Nunez. Welcome to Body and Spirit Aerobics. Weekday mornings from 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Don't hesitate. Act now because your greatest wealth is your health. Your 
it's always fresh, tasty, enticing, and the best in town. Serve hot from our experienced chefs. Come and enjoy our daily meals with a wide and delicious menu to choose from. Also a wide variety of pastries and dessert. We can also host your luncheons, cocktails, parties and formal gathering. For a reservation call 225-1730, 225-0038 and delivery 225-0195 or 225-0159. The new thriving Chinese restaurant, 32 Main Street, Georgetown. What's wrong with your AC? It's not working. Well, we wouldn't be able to continue this meeting anymore because this place is extremely hot. Wait, wait, wait. Please don't go. Here's a company you can call to get your AC fixed. Action Cool. Honey, what's the dinner? I had a hard day. I'm sorry you had a hard day, but guess what, babe? I didn't cook today because the stove is not working. Having trouble at home or at the office? Then call the professionals at Action Cool. Our fully trained technical team have the skills and experience in repairs of all air conditioned units, refrigerators, gas stoves, washing machines, and a whole lot more. For further information, visit us at 86 Hill and Princess Street, Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, or call us on telephone number 225 7867. In news from the region now. Ash Wednesday marks the start of Lent in the Christian calendar. Though it is celebrated every year, many often ask, what is Lent? What's the significance of it? And when is it celebrated? See News has more. Ash Wednesday marks the first day of Lent, a 40-day period which precedes Easter on the Christian calendar. In observation of Lent, Christians use the time as a period of prayer, reflection, and penance. It's a time where the sacrifice of Jesus, who according to the Bible withdrew to the wilderness where he fasted 40 days before his crucifixion. Ash Wednesday signifies the end of the carnival season and heralds the start of Lent, a period of repentance, moderation and spiritual discipline. From as early as 6 o'clock this morning, persons made their way to the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception for prayers and communion. The priests interceded on behalf of all citizens, praying for their forgiveness from us. In the glory of his death and the resurrection, we already know that the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of that you have us worthy to be in your presence as minister to you. Here we pray that, partaking of the body and the of Christ, we may be gathered in the world by the Holy Spirit, it is customary for some people to fast for the entire Lenten period, while others fast from meat only on Ash Wednesday, Good Friday and all Fridays of Lent. Many others choose to give up a vice, a favorite food, alcohol and even smoking for the entire 40-day period. Dion Batiste, C News. And internationally, last night, President Donald Trump delivered his first address to a joint session of Congress since his inauguration ceremony. The speech took on a slightly different tone than his inaugural address, but it still contained just as much hyperbole. The New York Times fact-checks his speech. Each American generation passes the torch of truth. Obamacare is collapsing. Ninety-four million Americans are out of the labor force. Over 43 million people are now living in poverty. And over 43 million Americans are on food stamps. As we speak tonight, we are removing gang members, drug dealers, and criminals that threaten our communities.
the murder rate in 2015 experienced its largest single-year increase in nearly half a century. We've lost more than one-fourth of our manufacturing jobs since NAFTA was approved. And that's Channel 2 Headline News for this Wednesday evening. As we take our leave, we invite you to find Channel 2 Headline News on Facebook, YouTube, and SafeTVGhana.com. You can also tune in at 6.30 tomorrow morning for a rebroadcast. And Thursday evening at 7 o'clock for more news. For now, I'm George Gonzalez, signing out from this newscast. Thank you for welcoming us into your homes, and do have a blessed evening.